not too worried here because we have Monster Reborn in the hand. But we go ahead and we top deck the Galaxy Wizard, actually. So we are able to use Monster Reborn to bait out the Super Polymerization that is back there. It's going to be very nice. Just watch the magic happen. We have the Photon Lord onto the field. He activates Super Polymerization. Same thing I would do. Very good move. Brings out the Shining. But we have Monster Reborn to bring our Photon Lord right back. And now we're able to sack it off. Four. Our very heavy metal looking Dark Dragon, which goes right in for the Dual Link's Lethal. 4,000 attack points to the dome. Jade Newbell goes to the Shadow Realm. Hello everybody and welcome back to the show. This is your captain speaking Sapphire Satoshi and in this one we are back playing our Galaxy Eyes deck. Yes, of course. What else did you expect? You saw the title of the video. In this one I have 10 dual replays from this season to show you. Some of my just favorite replays and top replays from this season that I saved just because I thought they would be good to showcase the power and potential of Galaxy Eyes in the deck that we are playing over here. I would like to help people out there who are trying to learn the deck and who want to, you know, play the Duel Links meta and get good and that sort of stuff. So this video goes out to everyone who wants to learn the Galaxy Eyes deck. And uh, we're just trying to show off some plays and how to be successful with the deck. Just show the true potential. The KC Cup did just pass as well, ended yesterday evening, and I uh, used Galaxy Eyes Photon in the KC Cup. A little bit of extra time this weekend to play, and uh, Galaxy Eyes did really good. It held its own definitely against, uh, you know, E Heroes, Rose, and other Galaxy Eyes decks is mainly what I ended up playing against. It was uh, a lot of good competitive duels, lots of fun, but Galaxy Eyes definitely holds its own. So thank you all so much for watching, clicking on the video. Thank you to those of you who have subscribed for the Duel Links content. Please like this video, drop a comment down below. Feel free to check out the other content on this channel, such as more Galaxy Eyes videos. We have lots of videos of us playing this deck on the channel, so feel free to go back and watch those. If you would like to see more in-depth analysis and just more talk about the deck and how to win with Galaxy Eyes Photon. Alright, now let's have a gander at the old deck. Alright my friends, this is the deck. This is the deck that made us to King of Games very early on in the season. I have a video with live commentary of the live duels of us doing that, the Legend 5 Decog run. Please go ahead and go back and check that out if you feel like it. Lots of stuff to see and learn from that one. But on the, uh, on the climb up, I was playing a variation of this actually because I was testing a few different builds. I was just adjusting to what was happening, so I was actually using... Photon Stream of Destruction kind of as a utility because this banishes instead of destroys. It's kind of nice and you can use it in combination with your Photon Lord. However, my Photon Lord kept getting a uh, Book of Moon. This card right here. So I actually removed all the Book of Moons from my deck and put in three Forbidden Lances instead. So just an example of like you don't have to copy this card for card. Just kind of a guideline. Do what works for you. Like if you're noticing something happening a lot to your deck you gotta kind of build around it make some adjustments and that was mine i kept getting book of moon and whatnot so the lances really helped out there and i also kept getting a starting hand without a revival card which was a huge problem for me so that's why it looks kind of overkill but we're running with three rewards and three galaxy zeros some people run three expeditions you can do that it's definitely helpful some people run two knights some people don't run a knight it's all over the place. This is how we ran it, though. So, like I said, this is the deck that made it to King of Games. But uh, in the dual replays, the 10 replays that you will see, the deck kind of looks a little bit more like this, if I'm being honest with you. This is kind of how I was playing it instead before I uh, switched to that version that it just was. But, you know, as long as it kind of looks like this and you fulfill the requirements to use your skill, you are... Uh, you're in the right direction, that's for sure. But the double Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, triple wizard, some people play two. I just like to run with three, that's me. One Galaxy Knight, Monster Reborn, Photon Stream of Destruction, Book of Moon. Could have been two, three Forbidden Lances, whatever. You know, you know how we're running it. The Lance, of course, just helps keep the monsters safe. Helps keeps the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon safe because you, if you activate the second part of that skill, they're going to know that you're trying to sack off your Photon Dragon, so they might try to hit it with something. 
this helps with that too. Shuffle Reborns, Galaxy Cyclone, of course, to pop back row. Galaxy Expedition for exploring the galaxy. Galaxy Zero. We were running three of these. And then a Treacherous Trap Hole to stop them dead in their tracks. You don't even have to run this, but I'm just doing it because, well, you don't have any other traps in the deck, so it's helpful. Very good card. Always has been a pain in the neck of all Duel Links players uh, since it was added to the game, but that's why we love it. Treacherous Trap Hole. And then Extra Deck is always the same. This is pretty figured out for this one. Cypher Dragon, Sith Dragon, looks very cool. Sasuke Fool, Armor Susano, that sort of thing. Darth Vader in Yu-Gi-Oh! as a dragon. Galaxy Eyes Fool, Armor Photon Dragon, such a cool card. Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, we have a sick anime win with this card. A very cool play. Good potential with this if your opponent's using Exceed cards. You might want to be bringing this bad boy out. Then we have Cypher Blade Dragon for popping those face downs, more specifically for that. This guy can only pop face-up cards. This one only pops face-downs and face-up. This can pop anything on the field, actually. I think your side, too, so very helpful. Uh, yeah, one card on the field, so even your side of the field if you want to, you know. And then, of course, Santa Fon the Sky Prison. Always bring this out. Turn one on the mirror match. Very helpful card. And with all that being said, my friends, we are going to roll the clips. Ten duels with our Galaxy Eyes. Photon Dragon deck on the Duel Links ranked ladder up in the Legend rank very early season too. All these duels were in the first few days of the season. I only just now got around to editing and recording this video and posting it and whatnot, but fairly competitive duel. Not the most competitive. Some of the decks are just kind of meme. They're just funny duels, so I left them in there, but the point is just to show you the power of the deck, the potential, the plays it can make, that sort of stuff, and just how to essentially run the deck. Thank you so much for watching. We do appreciate all of you who have subscribed since you've seen the Duel Links content. We love making Duel Links videos, so please like this video, leave a comment, letting me know uh, that you enjoy it. it. motivates me to make more. We also have a Pokemon Emerald playthrough and we open cards, so feel free to check out the other content. And now, let's roll the duels. First up in the Duel Sphere is Uto. None other. We do get... The, uh, the turn one right here. Unfortunately, our starting hand is not looking too good, so we go ahead and activate our skill to get the Photon Lord, and then we just Galaxy Eyes back our Photon Dragon, and that's really the only move we have. Yuto activates reinforcements of the army and brings the Ancient Cloak into the hand, and then starts just going off with the Ancient Knight plays and the Exceed summonings and whatnot, so nothing we can really do except hope that we survive this turn. He takes out our Photon Dragon. Not too worried though because we do have methods of reviving that. Brings out Malevolent Sin. Goes in, attacks us for 2400 and activates its effect. Very nice. We go ahead and activate XYZ Galaxy and right here I see the opening. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. No back row. I know he's not holding right princess or anything. So I can definitely just go right in, pop his monster and attack for game with full armor photon dragon. I've already determined this, and that's what we're gonna do. Yuto, however, has caught on and surrenders. But that's the kind of plays you wanna be looking for, is that sort of opening, you know, when you can just go right in and attack with that 4K dual links lethal. If you can clear the board, and you can attack directly with photon, uh, full armor photon dragon, that's what you wanna be doing. Next up, we are going up against Eporia, who has traveled into the past from the future to save it using that Mech Lord deck, but we are blessed by Slifer the Sky Dragon. We get the turn one, activate our XYZ Galaxy skill, and then we go ahead and Galaxy Zero out the Photon Dragon. The Knight comes out, and this allows us to get the turn one. Number 90 Galaxy has Photon Lord, that's all we can do, but I like the way it's looking. He activates Mech Lord Assembly and brings the Obligato into the hand going to summon it and activate its effect. We deny that because I figured it is crucial to the play. That is uh, what you want to be doing when the Photon Lord is out here. A lot of duelists will try to bait you and get you to use uh, the negate effect off of this and then they'll go in with the second effect that they have planned and they'll get over this. Um, so you want to make sure you're thinking about these negates before you use them. You only get one per turn and if this thing has no exe material on it then you can't do a negate at all. But it's very helpful. Make sure you know what you're negating. I knew that this was important. He already used his normal summon. I wasn't too worried about anything in the hand, so we go ahead and deny that. He activates Mechlord Refinement. 
brings Mechlord Assembly into the hand and has to pass it over to us. We go ahead and search, get the Cyclone into the hand, which is very nice. Gonna go ahead and activate that Cyclone on one of the phase towns. We pop Boom of the Mechlord Emperor. We go ahead and activate our skill again. I see the opening. I think that I can get into it. So we use Galaxy Eyes, Full Armor Photon Dragon, Sith Lightning on Mechlord Assembly, Cypher Blade Dragon comes out. Pops the face down, but he has Hollow Life Barrier, so he's able to prolong the inevitable, but we respect it. Activates the old skill, brings another Obligato into the hand, but I'm not worried. We will just deny this. This is exactly what we do with the Photon Lords in the gate. And, uh, doesn't really have any plays he can make, so he brings out the Assembly. At least that's what I thought, but then he, uh, the, the Astro Dragon came out, and he almost got us here. This was really good, and this is what I mean. He tried to bait us. We had Forbidden Lance, which saved us. This anime moment, look at that. Forbidden Lance saves it. We bring out the Photon Lord to get Photon Stream of Destruction out here. And then we we're just able to activate this, banish this monster, and go right in for game here by summoning our Darth Sith Dragon. It was a very anime duel. I like it. He almost got us, so we respect that. But in the end... Galaxy Eyes comes out on top once again. This is a very strong monster right here. The Astro Dragon almost got us. Here we have Sarah. She is using War Rock monsters. Pretty strong archetype in the current meta, not gonna lie. War Rock Mountain adds the Fortnite War Rock monster to the hand. Very nice. Normal summons it and then gets that special summon. Nothing we could do, such a face down. Alright, here we go. We use Galaxy Cyclone. We pop. That is the old BOM. Not too sure why she activated that on her monster, but she did. So we go in with our skill. We're going to bring out the Photon Lord. That is the play right here. Galaxy Knight into Photon Lord, and that's really all we can do. So we just pass it right back on over. She uh, brings out Malevolent Sin. Once again, not really sure here. Uh, so we go ahead and activate this effect to get a Galaxy Zero. We know we're going to need that. Deny malevolent, malevolent Sins effect right here. Don't let that happen. Then she, uh, she's got some more plays over here, so we kind of fell for it, but that's okay. I'm not really sure what's going on here. I just kind of thought that this was a funny one. That's why I saved this. Interesting huh, moves, but shows uh, some full power. Galaxy Eyes plays right here, so we pop Four Rock Mountain, then we go ahead and attack in for game. And here we have... The old mirror match. I'm going to show you how to deal with Kite Tenjo in the mirror match. This is what we do, my friends. We get the turn one coin flip. We win it. Going in for the Cinephon Sky Prison. That's right. This is what we do. But of course, we activate that effect. So they cannot summon anything from the graveyard. No special summoning from the graveyard for you, Kite. Just turns it right back over to us. We activate our skill XYZ Galaxy. And right here is the opening. We just go right in. Bring out Galaxy Eyes, Full Armor Photon Dragon. Kite Tenjo does not, does not want to take that 4,000 life points, so he abandons ship. Rightfully so. Now here we have a duel against the lovely E-Heroes, Elemental Heroes deck that is very popular right now. It's a good deck, so we definitely respect it, and this is a very good duelist. We get the turn one coin flip, so we activate our skill, get our dragon in the graveyard, then we shuffle Reborn and right back on the field. We use Galaxy Wizard's effect to get that. Turn 1, number 90. Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord, very nice monster. Jaden activates the favorite dual skill and gets Miracle Fusion into the hand, activates it, and goes ahead and brings out the old elemental hero, Neos Knight, which is uh, able to get over the Photon Lord. I go ahead here and try to negate Stratos, but he has a plan for me. Look, he activates Forbidden Chalice to negate my negate, so definitely respect that play. He got us, and he gets over our Photon Lord with this, so, you know, credit where credit is due. Hits us for 1800, but we are not down and out yet. You can't keep a good Sapphire down. We bring out the Shuffle Reborn. Photon Lord back on the field. Photon Stream of Destruction gets rid of the Knight, and then we get an Exceed Summon into our Darth. Sith Dragon. We're able to pop Stratos, and Jane just goes ahead and sends himself to the Shadow Realm. That's a good duel. Now Jaden has merged with Yubel. What could they be plotting? We get to go second this time around, so he's got Hero Alliance. 
Not sure what they're up to over there. He just sets a card, so we try to go in for the big play here. I play aggressively, I think, that I could attack straight to the life points, but he's got Book of Moon face down, so we just set the Tretch. I'm not too worried here. He has Neos. Fusion brings out a Brave Neos. That's okay. Brings out Liquid Soldier. We try to uh, pop this. He's got Neos Fusion in the background to save it. That's all right. Not too worried here because we have Monster Reborn in the hand. But we go ahead and we top deck the Galaxy Wizard, actually. So we are able to use Monster Reborn to bait out the Super Polymerization that is back there. It's going to be very nice. Just watch the magic happen. We have the Photon Lord on the field. He activates Super Polymerization. Same thing I would do. Very good move. Brings out the Shining. But we have Monster Reborn to bring our Photon Lord right back. And now we're able to sack it off. Four. A very heavy metal looking Dark Dragon, which goes right in for the Duel Link's Lethal. 4,000 attack points to the Dome. Jade Newbell goes to the Shadow Realm. Next, we go up against my Valentine, the infamous Harpy player. We're giving it our all in this round because, as you can see, we're going to get that rank. Blessed by Slife of the Sky Dragon, we begin our duel. She's going to go ahead and go with those classic Harpy plays. Nothing too crazy over there. We just have to watch it all go down. It hurts to watch. But let me tell you what. It is a beautiful resolution. So the Cyber Slash comes out and she sets two. Very nice. We activate our skill here. We're going to bring out our Photon Lord. Galaxy Zero activates. And uh, she goes ahead and activates its effect on her own Harpy. Karma cuts this, but we do have the Forbidden Lance. And then uh, she just surrenders because I think she misplayed and this was just really funny. So let's wild up this one in here. It's a good one. And next, we are forced to go up against Seto Kaiba and beat down the Blue Eyes deck. I really didn't want to do it, but we're playing on the ranked ladder. No mercy, even for a fellow Blue Eyes player. So we have to do it. Cards of Consonance lets him get a stone in the graveyard. He's got all sorts of plays. He's got two stones in the graveyard. Brings out a Blue Eyes on turn one. Brings out a Dragon Spirit of White on turn one. And brings out... A second blue eyes on turn one, so we definitely respect those plays, but we have to take apart this field. We use our skill and shuffle reborn to go right in to our Sith Dragon, who will use a Sith Lightning to destroy a blue eyes. It hurts me to watch, but we have to do it. Cypher Blade Dragon comes out, pops another blue eyes, and now we're going to use Galaxy Zero to get our Sith Dragon back, which we use as material for another Blade Dragon, which will get the Blast Monster off. GG Kaiba to the Shadow Realm. With your Blue Eyes deck, it pained me to do that, to beat down the Blue Eyes. Pained me to rewatch it, but it had to be done. For our last two duels, we go up against Galaxy Eyes. Back-to-back -back mirror matches here. Some big anime moments. So we go first. Say it with me now. You know what we're going to do. We bring out Cinephon the Sky Prison. Yes, there he is. Number 68, activate that effect. However, this duelist is very creative and gets around this. Is able to get out a level 8 Exeed monster without special summoning from the graveyard. So we respect him. I would have made uh, the Photon Lord instead of the Cypher Dragon. And he tries to steal a monster. Activate its effect and then brings out his Sith Dragon. I'm not too sure what the play was here. If this was a misplay or what was going on but he does pop our face down however so we use it on the only monster that can attack because he used its effect it's the only monster that can attack this turn i'm not too afraid we have a monster reborn in the hand just enough cards to activate our skill we top deck that expedition so we fulfill the requirements use our skill and we bring out our own neo galaxy photon dragon get the anime winning right here by using its effect attaching his xe materials and going in with that double attack, taking out his life points, straight to the Shadow Realm for a fellow Galaxy Eyes player. Alright, the final duel right here. He's actually got balance. It's not a mirror match. I thought it was, but he was confusing me. I remember when I saw this too, I was like, oh, it's a mirror match. He's just using balance. So it's against War Rocks. Very nice. You go ahead, bring out the Fortnite. We've got the Galaxy Cyclone to deal with the back row. Very nice, we play aggressively here. I see the opening, so we're just gonna go right in for it. We bring out the Galaxy Knight. We're able to get our Exceed summon off here. We take out his field spell and we just attack right in. 4,000 straight to the life points. 
just a few duels that showcase the true power of Galaxy Eyes. Thank you all so much for watching. We do hope that this video assists some of you out there who are trying to play this deck, trying to learn it, and want to be successful on the Duel Links Ranked Ladder. Please check out our other content on the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Alright, we wrapped up filming last night, then I woke up to see that uh, they announced a new ban list. So just wanted to give my two cents on this. I find it quite interesting. Um, the heroes are getting hit. Not too crazy or anything, but it is what it is. I played against this deck a lot in the KC Cup in uh, the last two seasons. So I understand why they're hitting it. Not sure why they're doing it and uh, the way they're doing it, but that is, uh, that's the play. And then the Rose Dragon deck, Rox Rose Dragon gets hit, limited to two don't think this is going to be too terrible, but we will see how it plays out in the next season. And then, of course, limited to three over here in my court assembly. This is strange. I didn't think this was too much of a problem, but I mean, I definitely got uh, beaten pretty hard by mech lords a few times. But I didn't think they were too overpowered or anything, but there you go. Mech lord assembly to three. Karakure, uh, this card is going to three. This deck was pretty strong in its heyday. And then a uh, Melody of Awakening Dragon to three, which is rather interesting, perhaps in some preparation for the Reigns world, which I'm excited about. That should be fun. It's kind of bittersweet, the last world they're adding to Duel Links. Well, I don't know if it's the last for sure, but anyways, Azure Eyes Silver Dragon, not on the list anymore. Keeper of Dragon Magic and Assault Black Wing. So three very interesting cards to take off the list. I'd like to see Azure Eyes Silver Dragon, and plus we can run uh, this in our blue eyes deck now we can make a better build so drop a comment if you want to see Another blue eyes video because I still do play the deck from time to time Interesting ban list galaxy eyes reign supreme